Eve's barnside chat. We take your questions from the magic rainbow bag. Love lives here, so join us today for Eve's barnside chat. You can find us in Campbellville, Ontario. We have rescued chickens, pigs, and cows and goats. We've got plenty more farmed animals, big and small. All for love and love for all. Welcome to Eve's Barnside Chat. We take your questions from the magic rainbow bag. Love lives here, so join us today for Eve's Barnside Chat. Our mission is to inspire kindness and compassion for farmed animals everywhere. You can help us take action by volunteering or through donations or visit our store. And check out our website to learn more. Welcome to Eve's Barnside Chat. We take your questions from the magic rainbow bag. Love lives here, so join us today for Eve's Barnside Chat. Happily Farm Sanctuary. Hello, hello, friends. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. How is everybody doing today? Can you hear me? Number one, can you hear me? I have a new piece of technology that I'm trying out. It's called an earpiece. So I hope you can hear me. I'm waiting for the comments to update here just to make sure that you can hear me and see me a-okay. Uh, the crows are crowing. The ducks are quacking. It's a beautiful day today at the farm. Hello. Uh, we've got Tina from Gloucester, England. Yeah. Oh, good. There are the comments. They're updating. You can hear me and see me. Thank you so much. We have so many people today uh, checking in all over the place. We have some folks from Germany checking in. We've got folks from England checking in. Uh, okay. says, so yes, we can hear you a little more muted, but it's okay. Okay. All right. Good. I'm, I hope you can hear me. Okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, we'll try it for today. We'll see how it goes. Uh, welcome to Barnside Chat. My name is Derek Walter. I'm executive director and one of the founders here at the farm. Uh, Happily Ever Esther Farm Sanctuary, of course, is located in Campbellville, Ontario. And uh, we hope you're having a fantastic day. Today is a holiday in Ontario. Uh, it's uh, called Family Day. And it's uh, where we're supposed to be spending time with our families. And uh, today, I'm on farm all day. And there's no better place than on farm because I get to spend the whole day with my family. Oh, my gosh. So happy Family Day to everybody around the world. I know not everybody celebrates Family Day, but uh, it is a, a holiday day that we do celebrate here. I think it's I, I think it's just in Ontario, um, or sorry, Eastern provinces today, and I think there are other provinces that celebrate Family Day, but on a different day. I'm uh, I'm often wrong, so please forgive me if I did not get that right. Uh, today, friends, um, I want to start off by talking about the Share the Love campaign. Help us raise. $20,000. We are trying to raise $20,000. And we are, of course, trying to do that before the end of the month. Uh, Share the Love campaign runs until February 28th this year. And right now, uh, the Share the Love campaign... Well, I'm going to show you the uh, thermometer in a moment. But uh, Happily Ever Esther Farm Sanctuary is absolutely thrilled to be able to manage this fund. And it's been created to provide financial assistance to other farmed animal sanctuaries in Canada and the United States when faced with a medical, uh, diff, you know, a very difficult medical situation uh, for one of their residents. And uh, this, 
this this fund uh, provides assistance with often crippling medical bills that sanctuaries are faced with during these difficult times. The Share the Love campaign is near and dear to my heart, and here's where we left off last week. The thermometer was at, we had raised $8,105 of the, oops, oh, wrong way, there we are, of the $20,000 that we are looking to uh, raise this year. And uh, let's see the update. Here we go. And it is at $12,001. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me, uh, oh, I just, there he is. Ferdinand is in the background. My goodness. I'm going to uh, take the earpiece off because I'm hearing some noise that I wasn't hearing before. And it's super distracting. Let's see if I can do this without interrupting any of today's services. Let's see. Da -da, da -da. Uh oh. Oh, we're back. I hope we're back. Let me take that out. Let me put this on. There we go. Okay, I hope that's okay. I hope everybody can hear me now. Let me go back to the comments. I'm so sorry, friends, about that. There we go. Is that any better? I Oh, Ferdinand. I'm a bit worried about Ferdinand being out. He's up on the deck of the main farmhouse right now, and he is looking like he might come down here and give me some business. Sylvia, is that better? Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah, I did it. Look, I did it and I didn't disconnect us. I can't believe it. I did it. Uh, so we have raised $12,001 of the 20,000 that we're trying to raise. And of course it runs until the end of the month. Um, please help us. Please give generously to the Esther Shares program. Here is a story of the Esther, here is a story of a farmed animal sanctuary that goes by only sunshine, only sunshine sanctuary. That's uh, difficult to say five times fast. And uh, we're going to highlight a story um, where Esther Shares was able to help vegetables. Hope you like it. Vegetables was rescued at just a few days old from uh, a dairy farm. Uh, we had, oops, we had made a connection of um, a local, one of our rescuers and friends who um, works uh, or has a uh, transportation um, nonprofit, Tommy's Transport, and made a connection with the dairy farm to call if there was ever any dairy that they, you know, no longer wanted to care for. And vegetables was born male, um, which in the in dairy industry is, you know, um, not as needed. And so they reached out to us. We went and uh, picked up vegetables who, and this was the first time that we ever had to take a cow from its mother. So he was still nursing off of his mom. When we got there, um, he was laying in the mud um, just at a few days old. Um, this was in about December or January. And so we knew that he had been exposed to a lot of um, bacteria and germs and, and such. And um, most of the cows we get from the dairy industry have some sort of contagious diarrhea or something like that. So we were aware of uh, the possibilities of something like that happening. So we brought him home, uh, seemed to be a pretty healthy, he healthy, happy boy. Um, we, you know, were cautious of all of the things that he was exposed to. Well, within a week or so, his joints on the front of his legs started to swell up really bad. And so we um, immediately took him in and concerned about joint infections. Um, when we got there, his, um, they did uh, um, imaging and found that not only was his first two already infected, but his back uh, hips and his back kneecaps were also extremely infected. So um, we treated it with everything we could. He was at UC Davis for over a week um, and they had to continuously flush out his joints, which can be very painful. But as soon as he was done, he was up and, and moving and a happy boy. So we knew that he was, you know, wanted to be here and was fighting for his life. So I follow uh, Esther the Wonder Pig. I follow um, the Esther Sanctuary. And I think one day 
actually this was with a different um, um, emergency that we had. I was just, you know, frantically looking for every option um, to help us financially, you know, be able to continue what we were doing. And I, I don't remember how, but I came across it in one of my searches um, for grants because there's not a lot of grants for farmed animals. I apply for a bunch um, and that, you know, are kind of loosely defined and thinking that you know we could uh, get it but they're like oh you're not a cat or a dog so um, the northern california sanctuary group is just absolutely incredible we are a very tight-knit community um so we frequently when people ask hey i you know we have this emergency how do i get help like you guys are frequently brought up and we actually rescued another cow gilligan about a week after so they were raised kind of as brothers um and we thought you know, this is going to be because we're very small. We're only on an acre. Um, so we don't keep cows. We rescue them, get them healthy. And then we find um, long term homes, usually at other sanctuaries that are larger. So we were worried. How do we find a home for not only a cow with a joint infection, but two cows? Um, and so we needed somebody who could be on top of vegetables long term care and keep an eye on him and we actually found an incredible home for both vegetables and gilligan on 50 52 acres in marin county they have a barn just to themselves probably the size of like three of our houses so they're living the best life um with someone who can also you know make sure and afford to care for him long term he's had no signs of pain no signs of discomfort um and they are just absolute love bugs Oh, I love hearing about how the Share the Love campaign that Esther Shares uh, program is helping other sanctuaries and helps spreading the love. Sharing the love. I shouldn't say spreading the love. Sharing the love. My gosh, it sounds like a disease, doesn't it? Um, all right. We are up here in front of the main Heath's barn, and um, we're going to move on. We're going to do some healthcare resident updates. Um, this week has been a very busy week at the farm. It's always busy at the farm. Uh, I don't think there's ever a week where I say, oh, we're just lollygagging around the farm, having the gayest old time. Um but it's 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 busy every single week here at the farm. But uh, this week, um, some of the medical things that are happening. Um, Brindle, uh, you see me take a deep breath there. Um, Brindle pig. I'm afraid uh, he is exhibiting signs of front lameness on his foot, and he's got an infection brewing in his front. But, and um, here's a little video showing us uh, just getting ready to check Brindle's foot out. And Phil is here, of course. And you can see Brindle. Oh, so he needs good. antibiotics. Yeah. yeah. He's uh, hobbling around. Um, not a great, uh, not a great yesterday, you know, yesterday he was not doing so well. And today there's been no turn. So, um, because today's a holiday, uh, at the, in Canada, uh, in Ontario, um, the, the vets won't be coming out until tomorrow or we'll be transporting him to OVC tomorrow. So keep your fingers crossed that Brindle has a really good day today. Uh, he is of course on antibiotics and painkillers. Um, but, uh, yeah, poor Brindle baby. Um, the next healthcare update happening around the farm is there was a lot of people that were asking about Ferdinand and Cornelius and if they have met yet and here is a photo of Cornelius and Ferdinand meeting for the first time but through glass of course um, Cornelius is here uh, on the inside of the house um, on Esther's side Esther's just out of frame there and that's Ferdinand and he is um, these folks are exchanging kind pleasantries at the window um, right now we have a, an infectious bird disease on farm we'll go into more detail um, about just what that is and what that means for the farm but for right now that means that Ferdinand and Cornelius can
cannot meet face to face, um, but this time just through glass for the time being. Uh, I had the pleasure of seeing Sammy Pig this week. Uh, he was in the main barn for a checkup, and uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, having the right equipment for the job um, is so important to the care that we do here at the farm for the residents. And that lift that you saw in the video, it's right here. Uh, whoa. It's <laughs> right here beside me. Uh, we use this lift almost daily here at the farm. Sorry about all the jiggling there. We use it almost daily. And uh, it is uh, just so pivotal um, to being able to provide the care for the feet as these issues come up. Uh, oh, I did take the mute off. There we are. Yes, mute clip is off. Uh, other things happening around the farm. You remember us talking about Abigail and Abigail's tail, the tail of Abigail's tail. And uh, Abigail was released back into Gen Pop, and uh, we disguised Abigail's tail with black tape and white tape so that it didn't look like it had a big bandage on it. And Abigail got released out into Gen Pop, and uh, everybody is leaving her tail alone, thankfully. Um, but always there are other surprises that pop up. Um, because Abigail was removed from her social group and from Gen Pop Herd, 
uh, the hurt structure changed around her. And um, although Abigail is still socializing with her, her normal group, um, interesting uh, is that that group's no longer letting her sleep with them at night, which is uh, something that I didn't expect. I expected Tammy and Abigail to fight a lot, um, but... Uh, I never expected them not to allow her to sleep there. So uh, Abigail is spending the nights trying out different sleeping arrangements around the farm. It's interesting every night to see where she uh, where she gets comfort. So we'll keep you up to date on Abigail's the tale of Abigail's tale. Oh my gosh, this little jumping bean is right behind me. Um, Oh my gosh, uh, definitely checking the boundaries of the sanctuary is Gloria. Gloria, uh, we moved Gloria from the old barn to stall one so, so that um, she could have more human person-to-person -person contact. And um, yeah, Abigail, uh, sorry, not Abigail, um, she is just a jumping bean. You can see uh, she's gotten up on the top of the door here and now Gloria is trying to jump over that top board and thankfully I'm looking up here and I can see another board has been added so that Gloria can't jump out of here. Oh my gosh. Um, somebody once told me if it doesn't hold water it won't, won't hold goats and uh, I think that's proving true right now with Gloria. There she is. Oh hello. My baby girl. I can open up the the gate here so she will come and visit us. Hi, baby. Oh, hello. It's so nice to see you. So Gloria is still on quarantine, I'm afraid, and uh, will remain under quarantine for about the next month anyways. Um, Gloria has some lice and Gloria has some other issues going on that I know Andrea will keep us all up to date on their um, Bear Care Corner resident healthcare videos. So uh, that's Gloria is still in the main barn and will be for about the next month. All right, Gloria, I got to close this gate because you jump over so incredibly fast. So incredibly fast. She's a little jumping bean. Uh, let me turn the camera around here if I can. E -doop. E -doop. There we are. So there's red cans in the hallway. That's because Gloria is under quarantine right now. And uh, it could also mean that there's a new resident, but there is not a new resident this week. It just means that there, Gloria is under quarantine. Okay, so we've got Abigail here sleeping with... Fiona, it looks like. Hi. And then we got Brindle Pig, who is in on his own right now because he's in a little gabapentin haze right now. Gabapentin is uh, a pain medicine that we gave him right now. Well, there's Captain Dan over there. Captain Dan, here's my boys. Yes. Heading on down the hallway. Nobody. And oh, I see lots of pigs on. Sleeping on the lanai. Let's go outside. This is the stall that has a oh a big huge gym pad. Hello, Piggly Wigglies. What's up? What's up, everybody? That's Noxley on the right. Then we got Hercules here on the left, and then Mercy, and then. Um, Miss Tammy, and actually this is a great leeway into a Tammy video. It was Tammy's birthday, and there is just the sweetest video. Uh, here it is of us celebrating Tammy's birthday with Tammy's favorite snack. Happy birthday to Tammy! Okay, I'm out here on the lanai. It is the sunny day with the piggies, and uh, it is the perfect leeway to the sanctuary weather report. 
Uh, we're going to do the weather report out here on the Lanai. It's a bit crooked, but that's okay. There we go. Uh, it's a beautiful day at the sanctuary today, friends. Uh, it is plus four degrees. And uh, there's a, a little breeze in the air. A little breeze in the air. And this weather report was brought to you by Mercy. Yeah, Mercy. Uh, next week, the weather... <laughs> Next week, the weather, well, this is all this week, actually. The weather is above seasonal. Uh, thank you, Mercy. That's my, that is my tripod. Thank you, Mercy. Oh, I like that tripod. Don't do that. Uh, this week, the weather is uh, warm on Tuesday, plus three. And oh, 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 Mercy. No, no, don't do that. There's Captain Dan. There's Captain Dan. Oh, hello, Captain. I, uh, I never in a million years imagined I would be doing the weather report with pigs from people all around the world. I love pigs and love our mission. It's so cool. Uh, this week we have an ice storm that's on the watch. Environment Canada has said that there's, oh, yes, hello, there's a lot of piggy activity. That uh, Environment Canada said that there's a high threat level. Um, that we're going to get some ice. So, uh, hello everybody. Everybody is surrounding me. Hello. Hello, Noxley Pig. Hello. Oh, it's tarp time. It's tarp time over there. Check it out. Oh, Mercy says you're going to bring out the tarp. It's time to play Tarpy Tarp. That's one of their favorite games. Oh. Yeah. Um, this week we had some ice uh, accretion. We had an ice storm come through, and look at how beautiful it looks. Uh, everything looked like it was covered in crystal, um, but uh, it's not great. Um, it's it, it makes me incredibly nervous, ice storms, because it could knock out the power grid for us, which uh, would be, you know, not the best. Um, and these ice storms, when they come through, they have the ability to, like, completely cripple communities and take out the power grid for weeks at a time so we're hoping that environment canada is of course wrong um we've got the peacocks it's peacock season check out that feather plumage there look at that um they've been growing their peacock plumage since they went inside of the coop in early november when they went in with no tails, the tail feathers were all gone. And now check that out. Uh, and these bad boys, they like to hang outside during the day. They perch up there. I didn't think that peacocks would like the winter, but they don't seem to mind. Hello, Mercy. Mercy's back here messing with my tripod. Um, it doesn't look like we're going to have time to do the question bag this week. But if you do have a question that you would like answered in the question bag for next week, we can absolutely make sure um yeah there's there's the question bag if you have a question you can put it in below um but we're not going to have a time to do any questions today because we had so much fun there's a lot happening on farm cornelius and ferdinand they did meet but it was through glass uh here check out this video of this crazy bird Yeah, so Ferdinand is a super funny boy, and uh, I'm learning just exactly how to live with Ferdinand because, uh, yeah, he does put up quite a fight. He's 40 pounds. He is like double the size of Cornelius, and last week I showed a funny picture of my hand with uh, Ferdinand's, um, with his foot, and somebody commented on the feed that, uh, wow, Ferdinand has big feet, and then somebody says, oh, Der or Derek had small hands. Just kidding. Um, I absolutely love small hand jokes, so that made me howl. Thank you for sharing the laughter there on that one. I want to thank our kind admin uh, below who has been keeping this a safe space for us this entire time, monitoring your comments and my language. They have their 
finger on the three second delay button at all times. Um, thank you to Christine and thank you to our kind admin moderator, uh, Kim, um, for uh, keeping this a safe space as well. Uh, okay, here's, I'm going to leave you with a few videos, uh, a few videos, uh, these, these were ones that were collected around the farm this week. Um, it is such a joy to have this time with you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for believing it. Oh, you just ghosted me. Hello there, goose. Hello. Uh, this is, uh, uh, uh amazing, this place here. He's being a part, um, and, and getting, oh, getting to be with these residents day in and day out is such a gift and we know that's the rainbow bag that's the rainbow bag yeah can no 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 that's the ipad don't do that okay i have to leave here <laughs> yes hello goodbye <laughs> and i don't have any hands to touch the buttons everything is all catawampus my goodness <laughs> <laughs> there we go okay i'm back into back into safety they were getting rowdy oh here comes mercy back with her tarp hello oh, she dropped it uh it was a crazy day in the barn uh thank you so much to anybody that has donated to the share the love campaign um we will get there uh with your donation no donation amount is too small head on over to happily ever ca and click on share the love friends thank you so much for tuning in my name is derek walter i hope you had an awesome time i'm gonna leave you with these videos that were collected around the farm this week thanks everybody for tuning in see you next week Bye bye everyone
All we need is a place to be And a few good friends for some company If you'd like to stay, you don't have to leave We'll leave the lights on and the door unlocked If you drop on by, you don't have to knock We're happy to share whatever we've got